Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Nigerians are still screaming and shouting ho ha over the um, many atrocities and corruption allegations that trailed uh, the last dispensation. I hope by the end of June, Nigerians will not be shouting, oh my show, oh my God, oh, because definitely what we may be saying may be worse than ever that we have ever seen in time to come. But before we go into the newspaper to find out uh, how Nigerians are actually between the, the, the deep blue sea and fire itself, would like to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it to say bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Whether we say OB is coming oh, or Bola Metunubu is already here, oh, either which way we are still in a serious situation as a federal government may be unable to pay salaries beyond june 2023 without removing first subsidy massive money printing says obaseki uh, one of the chieftains former apc chieftain now pdp chieftain a sitting governor and in the government of the dispensation well he also went further to say the Edo state governor mr godwin obaseki on monday said the federal government may not be able to pay salaries of workers beyond june 2023 without resorting to massively printing money or removing full subsidy <laughs> that is inflation no? obesity disclosed this while delivering his address during the 2023 may date celebration with a theme workers rights and socio-economic justice held at samuel Ogba media stadium in benin city Dignitaries at the event included the Edo State Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaobo, Secretary to Edo State Government Osaro Dion Oge Esquire, Edo State Head of Service Anthony Ogunbowa Esquire, Chief of Staff to the Governor Honorable Osiagbovo Iyoha, Speaker, Edo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Marcos Onobon, and the Chief Just Judge of Edo State, Honorable Justice Isagbaga Acha, amongst others. The governor who has who reassured that his government will sustain reforms and projects to improve the welfare of workers and ensure better livelihoods for Edo people urged the workers in the country to shift from the tradition of reacting when policies that affect them have already been made but take charge and ensure full transparency and accountability of government policies and programs. <laughs> Obasaki said in a quote, It will be a miracle for the federal government and state government to pay salaries beyond June this year, 2023, without resorting to massively printing money or removing for sub subsidy. Either of these decisions will bring more hardship and pain to Nigerians. Mm. Particularly, even workers. We must all make sure that the burden and the pain of these measures, which must be taken, are not carried by workers alone. Workers must now rise. They must rise now and ensure that they champion any discussion on subsidy removal. You must shift from the tradition of reacting when, things, when these policies have been made, but insist that you take charge and ensure full transparency and disclosure. If we are all undertaking a reform, then the benefits and pains that will come out of the reforms must be mutually shared by all Nigerians, not just the downtrodden. Reaffirming his government's commitment to welfare of workers in the state, Obaseki noted, I am proud to say that Edo workers are currently the best paid workers in Nigeria. When we announced the increment of the minimum wage to 40,000 Naira at this venue last year, I expected that the federal government and other state governments would follow suit immediately. But I'm surprised that it has taken them one year already. My promise to Edo workers here today is that one day, is that the day the federal government is able to pay its new minimum wage and ha hand over a check to any federal worker that day we will match the federal government and do the same for state workers as your governor i will ensure that workers are fairly treated so that you take your take home pay can really take you home our government has kept faith with prompt and regular payment of staff salaries and retirees benefits in the state in the last six years as a tradition 
salaries are paid at latest on the 26th of every month and for any holiday celebrations our workers are paid before the celebration so that they have money to celebrate he added we currently do not owe areas of promotion in Edo State because I have approved the promotion of all staff for 2022, which I believe will boost the morale of staff and the performance of our workers. Hailing the workers' contribution to the growth and development of the state, the governor stated our vision is to make Edo State the best place to work and live in Nigeria. I appreciate the sacrifices of our workers and their unwavering dedication and zeal as this has led to the growth and development of our dear state in the last six years despite the difficulties suffered following the poor management of the nation by the federal government. Our workers are the unsung heroes of society and the engine that powers our economy and we will continue to prioritize your welfare. This is why we will continue to embark on a series of reforms to boost your morale and productivity, ensuring the right incentives and enabling environment to deliver quality service to Edo people. This is a, a this is an addition to the reforms we have embarked on in education, healthcare, technology, economy, agriculture, and many other sectors. He continued, we are investing in infrastructure to provide our workers with a modern, more equipped and dignified work environment to ensure or to enable them to become more productive and deliver quality service to our, our people. We are installing fiber optic ca cables across all local governments so that government offices will now have internet connection. Wow. The, jo the John Odiago Oyago Service Academy is the best in Africa and has been effectively used in daily in used daily to train our workers to make them the best in Africa. We have removed all processes of interference with our recruitment exercise to ensure that the rec recruitment process is free, fair, and merit-based. We we have also kicked off the policy to ensure that any student of a do extraction who makes a first class in any university in Nigeria is given an opportunity for automatic employment into the state civil and public service as we want the best. Wow. The governor charged an appeal to workers to ensure they register in the health insurance scheme and utilize it effectively. On this, on his part, the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Dr. Chris Ngigi, represented by State Coordinator Ministry of Labor and Employment, Dr. Mrs. Florence Owe, said only a few employees are aware that workers have rights in their workplace. The Federal Ministry of Labor will continue to implement labor laws to ensure peace between employees and their employers. Chairman of the Edo State Chapter of the Nigerian Labor Congress, Chief Odion Olaye, here the governor for prioritizing the welfare of the workers, commending his developmental strides across all sectors of the economy. Also, the acting chairman of Trade Union uh, Congress, TUC Edo State Chapter, Comrade Charles Momo, thanked the governor for the Edo. Edo Health Insurance Scheme noted that, uh, noting that Edo workers are enjoying affordable and quality health care services under his administration. This is quite commendable on this, but uh, what I cannot shake is that he's already prophesying that if the workers do not come and work in synergy, insisting that they should rather remove the subsidy and ensure that there is free and transparent move by it. Removing subsidy is like saying in summary, in layman's language, that four will go for seven hundred fifty naira minimum per per um per liter, and w automatically there will be great inflation. If one liter of fuel that is going for some places two two o five, some places uh, two two fifteen, some places two thirty, some places two fifty, some places one ninety seven, some places one seventy one eighty five, in all of this. If eventually subsidy is removed, it should now become 750 minimum. That means every other thing will just increase. The inflation will be mad, though. It will not, it will be such that, oh my God. But in all of this, if they can remove it and there will be transparency, maybe we'll feel the pains together. In all of this, he's saying some things that most Nigerians are not aware because he's in the government. That's going to wrap it up. Let's put it in the comments.